look away. Perhaps uh, take some consolation from your mothers. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Wide out there and beyond, uh, but not so much for any Arsenal fan, of course, and players as Brighton with another tremendous performance. 3 nothing on the back of a 5-1 loss to Everton. At the Emirates, they beat the Gunners. And now all it takes for Manchester City to win the title, regain the title, is a three-point victory against Chelsea next weekend. We are here talking about it all. James Holly will join us later on. Mark Ogden as well with a report. But Janos Mihalik begins the show with myself. How are you, Janos? Give me your reaction, my friend, from uh, this tremendous performance for Brighton and the capillation from Arsenal. It, it, it really was. I, I, it, I think as if, as if they knew that the title was over, right? I mean, Manchester City haven't played, or, you know, uh, that's a big word, haven't played because they walked through the uh, Everton, right? <laughs> Nothing makes sense, as you mentioned, in, in this league. I mean, how can Brighton lose to Everton 5-1 and, and turn up with a performance like this? Uh, uh, but it was... You know, you look at Brighton and, you know, we can talk about Arsenal, what they thought, what they felt. But uh, I think the credit's got to go to, to to Brighton because they were playing at city level. I mean, C city at their best. This was Brighton. I mean, the ball movement, the long balls uh, uh, obviously caused some some problems uh, uh, for Arsenal in general. But they look to me like they were beaten before the game. Indeed, indeed. And let's, by the way, have a look at the recent results from Mikel Arteta's Arsenal because it really just wasn't about... Uh, you know, this loss today. And as Janus said, a tremendous performance from the Seagulls. But it was really what has been going on, Janus. I mean, look at that. A 2-0 result against Liverpool. Okay, fair enough. But that West Ham result was really detrimental. And I feel, you know, since that, after that, the Southampton one having to come back to even get a point, mm -hmm. get destroyed by Manchester City. Uh, two wins, of course, but today as well. So really, it's been a, a season where it's really been the latter part, right, Janus? It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. And unfortunately, Arsenal just couldn't, Get it over the line. Yeah, but you know, I mean, we got to enjoy Arsenal, right? Because they carry the burden of of making this a race of of some sorts, right? I mean, we thought yeah. ahead of the season, many thought that Liverpool may actually win it, right? Maybe there it's going to be another battle between Manchester City and Liverpool. We all know what happened there. Some down years for Chelsea, Manchester United early on. So uh, I, I don't think anybody anticipated Arsenal being where they are right now, uh, and they look tired. I mean, it, you know, quite frankly, and it shows in matches like these against Brighton side that not only can keep the ball, but wins it immediately after they lose it. It's a trade that, you know, Liverpool has had, Arsenal also um, uh, to a degree. So, look, I, I mean, it's an enjoyable season. I think it was the Manchester City game, really, that kind of, you know, proved to us that, that the title race was over. Because I, I think we always knew that City are going to have one of those runs because they're that good. And this morning... I almost turned the game off. It was, I mean, it was that easy. You know, I, it, it was incredible watching this game because obviously there's some changes. Uh, Real, uh, you know, the Real Madrid took its toll, I'm sure, physically and 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 psychologically. Uh, and there's, of course, uh, the rematch uh, during the week. But Man City today, my goodness. I mean, I wish, I, I think I could be the coach of that team today. <laughs> and you would do a fine job, Janusz Michalik, absolutely. And I agree with you. I felt like it was like playing against a reserve team, not a first team of the Premier League. But here's uh, – we're getting some questions in, by the way, on ESPNFC. Thank you so much, everybody. Keep on sending the questions. And remember, James Olley will join us in a second, and then Mark Ogden with his report from the earlier game. But, Janusz, here's one for you, and I agree with you, by the way. Your objective, Arsenal fans, was, uh, you know, Champions League football. This is a good project. But here's your first question, Janusz. You know – you said that you can enjoy Arsenal, Giannis, but this season has been a failure, hasn't it? Uh, is that for real? That's for real. That's a question for real. Uh, but please ease the, the wounds of this question. You know what, Arsenal has been a failure? <laughs> That's what they said. It's, imp it's impossible. I mean, how much uh, we're not going to spend any time on that. I mean, I have all the respect for, you know, whoever uh, uh, wrote that. I mean, what, what's, I, don't know, I don't know what to say. I mean, if this is a failure, my goodness, I like to fail like that uh, more often. I'm sure Arsenal uh, will as well. But yeah, the project is uh, just getting going, obviously. Uh, you know, I mean, this season's been absolutely tremendous, almost as if uh, Arsenal arrived uh, ahead of time uh, uh, just a little bit. But, you know, to replicate that next season, it's not going to be that easy. I'm sure they're going to change things in the summer as well. But, uh, um, yeah, that's all I got, really, because, I mean, this cannot possibly be a failure. <laughs> they did blow a big lead at the top of the table, though, Yanis. Do you not think that that's failure enough? 
No, 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 because, you know, there's always Manchester City. I mean, Manchester City are going to be yeah. favorites next year, the year after, the year after that, and the year after that, probably. Pep Guardiola stays, and they continue to do what they do. Obviously, you know, we saw, uh, you know, Gundogan today. Hopefully he'll stay, but, you know, we'll talk about Manchester City a little bit later on. So I think Manchester City are, are pr probably, you know, top team for the next five years. They, they really are. That's what I think of them. Yeah, yeah, please stop with the silly questions. This is this is a great project from Arsenal. And remember, everybody, the youngest team in the Premier League, Champions League qualification is just part of that process. Yes, winning the title would have been great, but come on, you cannot call this a failure. Here, Michalek, you said on uh, PL Express that you think Arsenal next season. Was this their best time to win the league, or do you think they could do it again? Uh, you know, I I think it's just going to be difficult because everybody, every so often you get this sort of year, I don't want to go back to Leicester City and what happened then, but, you know, obviously I think Chelsea, the Manchester United and the Liverpools are going to get a little bit better. It doesn't mean they're going to win it, but they're just going to make it that much more difficult for everybody else. So uh, I'm interested to see how Arsenal goes to the next level because today was a great example that they need that extra level, right? I mean, obviously, a loss of Martinelli early in the game, that, that hurts you a little bit because they are pretty balanced on both sides. Uh, you know, Bukayo Saka looked tired, right? Uh, you know, that's one thing that we need to see from Arsenal Football Club because they pretty much are, I think Arteta played, let's be honest, 13, 14 players. And, and so I think the difference be between Manchester City and everybody else for, for the most part is the ability to rotate and bring the quality of the bench or through rotation. And, and you can't tell the difference. Uh, I don't think Arsenal are there. They probably need another three, four or five players. I'm not saying in one window, but that's going to be their next step, uh, Louis. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I think for Arsenal, if I had to be honest, top four is a target next year because it's going to be that much more difficult. Yeah, I totally agree. And Yanis, I would also add, and I, I want to quickly shift to Brighton after this for a second before James jumps in, but I would also add the fact that there's never been a Premier League champion that hasn't also had experience in the lineup. And you can give youth all the credit that you want, but I do believe that you need just that little bit of experience to help you in the tough times. Every single squad that's won the Premier League has not just been about youth and exuberance. It's always been that also that sort of experience, understanding of what it takes to get there. I think that that's another component that maybe they should be looking at in the summer. Yeah, you know, for, you know, speaking of experience, it's a funny thing. When you when you talk about Premier League, I think it's one of those where you need winners and you need to learn how to win uh, games, right? Yeah. Learn how to win titles, I suppose, because the games they've won uh, plenty of them uh, this season. So uh, I misspoke a little bit, but but I think winning titles matters. But you know, how do you accomplish that, right? I mean, uh, there's only going to be one winner in in the Premier League, and and I've mentioned already how I feel about Manchester City. Uh, but but yes, I, I think you know. If I were Arsenal, Mikel Arteta, of course, he's not going to say that, but I would be looking at the cup competitions, Champions League a little bit, making sure that they maintain the top four uh, in the league because, yeah, I, I just don't see Arsenal causing any problems in terms of winning uh, uh, the title next year. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.